So we're going to talk now about Kirchhoff's um, two laws used to describe electrical circuits. The first law, Kirchhoff's current law, is used to describe what happens to um, currents in junctions in a circuit. So the law says, um, at a junction in a circuit or a node, total current in is equal to the total current out. Okay, so what does this mean? Well, let's just take a very simple example. If I've got a few wires coming in to a point, well, let's take a little look at this example. This is my junction here. Let's put some numbers to it. I1, I2, I3. Well, what this basically says is total current in equals total current out. Well, in this case, what we looking at, we have I1 plus I2, we can add those two, equals my total current out, which equals I3. So that's a very simple application of Kirchhoff's current law. So now let's take a little look at what happens in circuits. So here we've got a very simple series circuit. Um, and we can take anywhere on this circuit where we want to apply this law. So I'm going to just take this bottom corner here. So we'll treat this as a junction between two wires. Well, what does Kirchhoff's current law say here? Well, it basically says that the current into my junction equals my total current out. This is something we know already. Basically, this just shows us, and we could apply this to different points here. So we could do the same thing up here. And because there's no, there's no actual forks or splits in my circuit, we can say around a series circuit, current is the same. So my current will be exactly the same throughout that circuit. So let's put a few numbers to this. I've got a little circuit here, same one, a cell in series with uh, 200 ohm resistors. Well, how can we um, work out what the current in our circuit is? Well, let's start off by looking at this resistor here. We've got six volts across it, and it has a resistance of 100 ohms. So if I take this, this resistor, we can say that the current through it equals the voltage across it divided by its resistance. Put some numbers to that. 6 over 100 equals 0 0.06 amps flowing, or 60 milliamps. OK, so that means that the current through this resistor equals 60 milliamps. In a series circuit, well, that means that the current through this resistor will be 60 milliamps. The current all the way around this circuit will be exactly the same. So that's a nice simple example. Well, let's take a little look at what happens in parallel. Well, this is where we actually have forks in the road. So let's label these up. I1, I2, and I3. So applying Kirchhoff's law, sum of currents in equals sum of currents out. Well, looking at this junction, what, current, what are my currents going into that junction? Well, here, it's only going to equal I1. Currents going out in this case, well, we've got two different ones there. We've got I2 plus I3. So we've got an equation here which can, we can use to describe the currents in this circuit. OK, well, let's take another junction for an ex example. Well, I know my current here because the current along this line is all the same in series, I can say that will equal I2. This current here is again going to be the same as that one there, because that's in series. So that's going to equal I3. And this current here, following that one along, is going to equal I1. So exactly the same idea here just applying it to a slightly different junction here, what can I say? Well, it's essentially another variation on the same thing. 
So this is used to describe the um, currents in a circuit. Well, let's take a little look at this one here, just with a few numbers now. Okay, well, um, what can we say? Well, we've got a junction here, so let's look at this one firstly. Um, let's pick this resistor to begin with. Well, I want to know what the current through this resistor is going to be. So using Ohm's law, V equals IR, um, we can have, we're going to have my voltage divided across that resistor divided by its resistance, which equals 12 volts divided by 100 ohms, which is going to equal 0 0.12 amps flowing through, that, flowing through that resistor. So we have a current here of 0 0.12 amps. Okay, well next let's take, um, try and work out what this current is going to be. So in, in order to do that we need to look at this resistor here. So I'll just do that over this side. I equals voltage across that resistor divided by its resistance, which is going to equal 4 volts divided by 100 ohms, which equals 0 0.04 amps. We could also use that one. So all these resistances are going to equal 0 0.04 amps. Okay, well, what if we want to know what the current going through the battery is going to be? How are we going to work that out? Well, we know that this resistance here is 0 0.04, that one's 0 0.012. So the total of those two is going to equal zero. 0 0.16 amps here. So that's using Kirchhoff's uh, current laws. Okay, so those are two fairly simple examples. This one, um, we've got a horribly complicated circuit here with different cells, thermistors, variable resistors. We want to know what is the vo current through that ammeter. So the good thing about these, um, these laws is that we can always apply them no matter how complicated the circuit. So we're going to pick this junction here to begin with. So we know that my total current in equals my total current out. So how can we use that information? Well, what do we know? Let's go through these individually. Looking at this resistor, let's call that I1. Can we work out what I1 is going to be? Well, we know the voltage across it and its resistance, so we can work out what that current is. We can also do the same thing for I2. We've got I3 here, and we want to know what is this current I4. So, well, let's, let's use this Kirchhoff's voltage law to work it out. What are my currents in? Well, given the directions of these potential differences, well, I've got I1, which is that one, plus I2 are going to equal I3 plus I4, which is what we're looking for. So let's plug some numbers into it. I1 is this guy here. So how are we going to do that? 3 volts, 3 volts divided by 100 equals 0 0.03. Plus I2 is going to be 1 volt divided by 200 ohms will equal I3, which is 5 volts divided by 500 ohms plus I4. So we've got an equation now with one, known, one unknown that we want to solve. So let's work through the maths here. Let's put it into decimals so we don't like fractions. 0 0.03 plus 0 0.03. 0, 0, 0.05 equals 0 0.01 plus I4. And with a bit of rearranging, we can work out that I4 equals 0 0.025 amps. So this current here, this current here will have 0 0.025 amps flowing through it.